A 71-year-old man is on trial in France, accused of DRUGing his wife and inviting dozens of strangers to all word her in their home over nearly a decade in a case that has shocked the country. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we dive into this sick story, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, ring that notification notification bell so that you never miss any of my new uploads okay the husband dominic pellicott offered sex with his wife on a website and filmed the abuse 50 other men accused of all wooding his wife when she was knocked unconscious by the drugs are also on trial her husband of 50 years had been crushing sleeping pills into her food and drink to put her into a deep sleep and then all wording her. He had ushered dozens of men into her home to film them all wording her and that lasted nearly a decade. The accused men represent a kaleidoscope of working class and middle class French society, truck drivers, soldiers, carpenters, and trade workers, a prison guard, a nurse, an IT expert working for a bank, a local journalist. They range in age from 26 to 74. Many have children or in relationships. Most are charged with all wording the women once. A handful are accused of returning as many as six times to all word her. This is sick. The victim, Giselle, who has divorced her husband and changed her surname since his arrest, is now in her 70s. 70s. Since his arrest, Mr. Pellicott, who's 71 years old, has always declared himself guilty. You hear that? He's admitting that he's guilty. And the other losers have denied the all-word charges, with some arguing that they had the husband's permission and thought that was sufficient, while others claimed they believed the victim had agreed to be D-R-U-G-E'd. Really? When the police showed Giselle some of the photographs, they say her husband had carefully classified and stored. She expressed deep shock. She and her husband had been together since they were 18. She had described him to the police as caring and considerate. Oh. She had no memory of being awkward by him or the other men, only one of whom she recognized, she told the police, as a neighbor in town. The first time she will consciously witness the awarding will be in the courtroom when the video recordings are played as evidence. Oh, I want to vomit. This is brutal. I'm at a loss for words. You guys, for 10 years, she was all word and D-R-U-G by her husband. He would all word her and had 50 men all word her for 10 years. And they are recordings, they are videos of it. And she has to sit in the courtroom for the first time with everybody and watch herself on tape. D-R-U-G and all word by her husband and 50 other men. This is sick. This monster, this demon was a trained electrician, an entrepreneur and a cyclist. This is how he got caught. Check this out. In 2020, three women reported Mr. Pellicott to the police for trying to use his camera to film up their skirts in a grocery store and he was arrested sick bastard the police seized his two cell phones two cameras and his electronic devices including his laptop before releasing him on bail on the devices the police say they found 300 photographs and a video of an unconscious woman being sexually assaulted by many people they said they also found skype messages in which the men boasted of DRUGing his wife 
and invited men to join him and have an SEX with her while she was unconscious. Over the course of their investigation, the police found more than 20,000 videos and photographs, many of them dated and labeled in an electronic folder titled Abuse. This is sick. The timeline they built began in 2011. The list of suspects grew to 83. 83 suspects. Two months after his initial arrest, Mr. Pellicott was arrested again and charged with aggravated R word, D R U G A, and a list of sexual abuse charges. He is also accused of violating the privacy of his wife, daughter, and two daughters in law on suspicion of illegally recording and at times distributing intimate photos of them. He also kept a nude photo of his daughter on his phone. The daughter reportedly left court upset after the judge's shocking claim, and she said to be afraid she was also DRUG'd and possibly abused. He faces up to 20 years in prison. Doing interviews with the police, Mr. Pelican said he began DRUG'ing his wife so he could do things to her and dress her in things that she normally refused. Then he started inviting others to participate. He said he never asked for or accepted money. He met most of the men in a chat room on a notorious, unmoderated French website implicated in more than 23,000 police cases in France alone from 2021 to 2024. It was finally shut down and its owner arrested in June after an 18-month investigation stretching across Europe. The chat room where most of the men met Mr. Pellicott was called a saint and sous, which means without their knowledge. Over the years, Mr. Pellicott told the police he developed rules for the visitors to ensure that his wife did not wake. No smoking or cologne, undress in the kitchen, warm hands under hot water or on a radiator so their cold touch would not jolt her. At the end of each night, he cleaned his wife's body. Of the 83 suspects, the police identified and charged 50. Only one of the men is not charged with R-word, assault, or attempted R-word of Mr. Pelican's wife. Instead, that man is accused of following the same model and DRUGing his own wife to all word her. Do you, do you hear this? Mr. Pelican is also charged with all wording that man's wife while she was DRUG'd. Oh my, this is sick. Five of the men also face charges for possessing child sexual abuse imagery. Mr. Pellicott is also being investigated in the R-word and M-word of a 23-year-old woman in 1991, an attempted R-word of a 19-year-old in 1999. He admitted to the attempted R-word, according to Florence Ralt, the lawyer representing the victims in both cases, but denies any involvement in the 1991 homicide. Some of the accused men admitted guilt to the police. Many claimed that they were tricked into having SEX with a DRUG woman, lured by a husband for a three-way encounter and told she was pretending to sleep because she was shy. What? So that's the lies that they're coming up with? Several said they believed that she had consented to being DRUG'd and R-word as part of a SEX fantasy. Some said they did not believe it was R-word because her husband was there and they believed he could consent for both of them. They each faced up to 20 years in jail if found guilty. 
This is a lot. Oh, thank God for these three women at the grocery store who reported him. Because that's how he got arrested. And that's when they went through his phones and his laptops. And they were able to see all these things. And that's, oh, wow. For 10 years, he was DRUGing his wife. He had other men, 83 men, 83 men, all wording his wife while she was unconscious. 10 years. So if she's in her 70s, that means in her 60s. So, oh my gosh, what are you even using protection? This is a lot, but I will say this. This is not uncommon. It's more common than you know. There are a lot of women that came out and they exposed these things, you know. Their husband uh, or their fathers, they, you know, were a part of the occult and they would D-R-U-G them and they would all work them and pass them around to, you know, for favors to politicians and, you know, other people and they would wipe their memory. The next day, they don't remember anything. When they wake up, they don't remember anything, and it would go on for years, okay? So this world is not what it seems, okay? A lot of demons are among us. A lot of sick, evil people are doing evil things to their wives, their kids, people, period, you know? So this is not uncommon, okay? So a lot of them are part of the occult. They they are down with things like that. These type of practices, just SRA, just sick, just sick. So this is not uncommon. It's not. I have to say that. It's not uncommon. If you want, you could even look up videos on YouTube and you'll see these women coming out and they'll tell you. And it's real. It's real. This is real. Real things. Real life stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, that's all. Um, I'm at a loss for words, so but I'm not new to this. I'm not new to this. I know a lot of things. Um, so yeah, but that's all I um I will say. I will be following this case. Um, so yeah. What are your thoughts, you guys? Leave it in the comments. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.